So today, uh, we're gonna go ahead and fix the infamous Mitsubishi Tick. It's gonna be different on the, uh, the V6, of course. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this. It's very simple. It's, um, you know, you can call them last adjusters or lifters, whichever one. But all you do to do is take out the valve cover. Everything so it's just all open, which you should already know how to do. Make sure you set everything aside, bag up all your bolts from each section that you took it off so you don't lose anything. Coil packs. Uh, just move everything to the side. Uh, if you haven't changed your valve cover gasket in a long time, I suggest you go ahead and get a new one since you're taking the valve cover off. Um, but yeah, but pretty much uh, we're going to be taking off all these bolts right here. And then once these lift up, they are in here. And I'm going to show you how to clean them. So I'll start recording as soon as I take these off. Okay, so I went ahead and took off just the bottom bolts to show you the process. You can see it easily lifts up. And those are them. They just fell out. There's one of them. So just be careful not to lose them. Put them in a bag real quick. You know, I'll show you what to do with them as soon as you get them out. Okay, so I went ahead and took out the bottom ones. Um, these are the last adjusters right here. Alright, I'm going to show you how to clean these up. Go ahead and clean them, get all the air out of them. Um, this thing's pretty simple. Just you got to make sure you have this exactly on there when you put it back. All right, it's got to be matched up with the holes. And then there's little holes on the inside, too, that you need to make sure line up in there, too. You can't have it. Let's see if I can turn this around. You see those little holes right there in the middle? And how the other side does not have them? So you got to make sure that it goes like that where that little hole is on the inside. Okay. Uh, you can take, um, you know, brake fluid cleaner and clean up all this if you wanted to. Just take it. This whole thing just comes off now because of those bolts removed. You know, um, another good thing to have is this. That way, when you lift these up, it'll just pull, it'll pull it out. So you don't drop it didn't fall, none of that stuff. So, you know, it's pretty easy. Just pull it up, and once you lift this up, put it in there, and it pops right out. So you got eight right here, and you'll have eight more up here, 16 all together. Um, what you need to do is buy some diesel fluid. This is like 50 cents at the, you know, the, the Jiffy store, because that's the best thing to, uh, to clean the last adjusters, the lifters, whatever you want to call them. And um, as soon as I get the next row out, I'll start showing you how to clean those. Okay, so go. I got these soaking and diesel. These are all the last adjusters and lifters. There's going to be a hole on one side of them and you're going to need a, a metal paper clip. Let these soak for about five minutes and get yourself a brush. Don't get a wire one because you don't want to scrape them all up. Just a soft one. And You'll hear that squishiness. The reason why you have a tap is because these get gunked up from not changing your oil and they won't do that anymore. And that's the reason why you got the tap. So just do this with every one of them. Make sure you get them all clean, brush them up, and then throw it to the side. And then as soon as I get all of these cleaned up, I'll show you how to put them in. And make sure you wear gloves because it is diesel fuel. And do it over a sink, but just make sure you don't lose any. But yeah, that's it. It is day two of the Mitsubishi Tech fix, doing the last adjusters, our lifters, whatever the hell you want to call them, wheels versus rims, all that stupid shit, whatever you want to call it, last adjusters. So we're going to be fixing that, and I believe where I picked out yesterday is where we just took them out. 
it's pretty much all I did and showed you how to clean them in diesel fuel I don't know if I mentioned that but use diesel fuel when you clean them um, got them soaking in oil make sure they're good and soaked before you put them in just to make sure every crack and crevice in them is loaded down with oil um, I don't really know if you got to do this but when I have them in oil I take a paper clip and um, I kind of bleed all the air out you put them in you'll see a little hole on one side and you just push it through until you hear no more squishiness um, and after that you know we're gonna load them inside the rocker arms which are still detached you can take off the rocker arms and clean them if you want no need I've already done all that already um, turn down the camera turn around the camera view Review turned around. So you can see it's already unbolted. See? All you gotta do is I do one at a time. So I load I load them up in here and then set it down. Same thing here. And hopefully they just don't pop out. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to try to not get pop out. Um, went online yesterday with uh, the guys on Facebook. Uh, most, there's a few that help and there's a few kids that are assholes. I'm sure everybody knows that. But um, some say put a little bit of grease inside so it stays put, because they will fall right, right the hell out as soon as you put them inside. So maybe a little bit of grease. Uh, you can do your own research, try to figure out what works best. Uh, I'm just going to try to do it without the grease and slip them in, you know, two at a time and just hope they don't fall out. And I'll get those in and then the back one's in. And after I'm done, I'll let you know what was the best way to let you know. Because I know everybody's got this tick problem and I'm sure nobody wants because everybody, oh, is it you going to throw a rod? No, nah, I ain't going to throw no rod. It's just the Mitsubishi tick. So, showing y'all how to fix it. My experience, I'm not a mechanic. Just showing you what I'm doing. Alright, so I will start filming again as soon as I'm done. Uh, I'm walking to the auto parts store to buy some grease. Because I found out putting grease on the lifters and then putting them in the rocker is the easiest way to do it. Because they fall straight out as soon as you... Uh, you know, you flip it over and try to put it back in the uh, cylinder head. But, yeah, walking down there to get the grease. Um, Grab him some low grit sandpaper also. Uh, the valve springs, if they're a little fucked up, you just take a little bit of sandpaper and smooth them out. I think it's that situation. Um, you know, so... It's really hot in Florida right now. Like, stupid hot. It's been raining for two weeks straight. And when it rains in Florida, the humidity is crazy. Like, you can barely breathe. Some of my videos, you can tell, you can, like, hear me breathing. It's just another hot, fucked up Florida crazy air. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, God. <laughs> But luckily the auto parts store is not that far away. It's only like, I don't know, like fucking five blocks, something like that. My girlfriend takes my daily driver to work every day because she lives with me. So, yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'll start videotaping you soon, or recording, whatever you all say. But I'll start doing that shit as soon as I'm done. Alright, so I just got back from the auto parts store. Um, I learned a few things that would be better. Um, this synthetic grease, you know, you use it to grease all your wheel bearings, stuff like that. You can put them around uh, your lifters right here, and they will stick in there while you're trying to position them in. But, is what I'm told... Vaseline works better. It breaks down better in your engine, so you don't have to change your oil. Um, but this stuff is still just as good, but Vaseline is better. So if you want to use Vaseline, that's great. Um, of course,
course, you know, I can't do this unless I have somebody filming me. But when you do this, you see the holes. Just make sure that when you do the holes, they're facing down and not up, you know, because that's your oil injectors. Um, and make sure you take off these so it's easy to slide on. I'll do one set, show you what I did, and then I'll do the other set, and then show you how that went. <clears throat> but I'm trying to do the best I can here because I know this is a huge problem with everybody who's got these cars. Everybody's always talking, I got a tick, what is it, what is it? So hopefully this helps you guys. Let me do this real quick, and then I'll start recording after I get the um, this side done. Okay, so yeah, what I showed y'all, hold on, let me look at this fucking gate, okay, so what I just did was right, I spent 30 minutes trying to get those lifters inside those rockers, and they just kept falling out. Every time I would go to this one, this one would fall out. It just kept on all over the damn place. So, this is the intake side right here. <clears throat> what you do, just a little bit of grease. But, I'm, and like I said, everybody says Vaseline is better. Just get yourself a little bit. Go around the whole edge of it. Don't go to the little holes in the bottom. I'm guessing that'll fuck it up. I can't really do this with... Anyway. Get a little good mount on there. Slide that fucker in. And then wipe the tops off. All the goo that comes off the top. Slide it off. And... You know, make sure when you put it on... All these clips are facing upwards. Just like they were if you want to take a picture of it before you start this job. Take a picture... So you know that everything's right. These clips are supposed to be on top, not backwards like this one. See how that one's backwards? And make sure the little oil injectors, these little holes, are going downwards. Um, if you want to leave a bolt in there just to make sure that you're doing it right, you know, make sure it's on the right side. You can do that. Uh, you can clean those little injector ports too. These are for oil. So if you want to clean them out, I got um, this and just hit it with some brake cleaner and then wipe it all down. It helps out too. But I'm going to go ahead and put these in and then I will continue the video and show you what happens next. Okay. So I'll try to show you. If you can see, see all the grease that I put on it? Focused right. Just take the rag. Just wipe off all that excess grease because you don't even need that. It just needs to be on the sides. You need all that shit in your engine. This fucking magnet. I went ahead and put in the bolts just so everything was facing right when I put it on so there was no mistakes. Um, clips are upwards so that way when you put it on top. I wish I had another person helping me with this. I'm going to buy. A tripod, I promise. Um, you know, you just put it back on and then make sure that it's adjusted right before you torque anything down, before you put on, any, put on, screw down any bolts. Make sure it's positioned right and sitting in there just how you want it. You don't want to bend anything, break anything, because you know what happens when you fuck up engine shit? It's costly as hell. But, yeah, so, we'll go ahead and get that done, and I'll continue. <clears throat> Alright, so, I went ahead and got them in. Uh, they're all in there, they're lined up nicely. With these, this, the intake side of it, it doesn't really want to uh, fit in there right. So what you got to do, I learned a trick, just push these together one by one and it just kind of slips in place because it's such a tight fit in there 
that if it's not perfectly in there, it just won't drop down and these things will keep popping out. I had a few pop out. If they do pop out, just lift that one up, put a greaser on it, put it back in, and try one more time. But yeah, pull these together, and it should drop down. Just make sure all your clips are just like this, each one. Tighten these down by hand. And when I checked for the torque setting, you have to torque this down. Don't try to do this without a torque wrench. It is... I saw between 25 and 30, you know, so I would just say 28, do your own research, but it's definitely between 25 and 30, um, and I would say go and start in the middle, work your way out, skip a few, you know, I don't know if it's got to be in a sequence, if it matters, better be safe than sorry, just start in the middle and skip each one, you know, but yeah. Once you hear that click, don't go over 30, don't go under 25. Uh, once that's done, you know, just start assembling shit back together. I'm gonna go ahead and torque these down, valve cover, everything else. Um, also too, if you haven't bled the lifters in oil, where you got all the air out, it's gonna take about 30 minutes to prime. You know, you're gonna hear a bunch of tapping until all the oil hits in everything. Um, that's only if you haven't done that, but good thing to do, dump oil all over this, you know, just to get it lubricated for your, for your dry start. It's not going to hurt anything. It's going to be best if you do that. Just get everything all, you know, all lubricated in oil, but I'm going to get started on the next phase and then I will start recording as soon as I'm done with that. All right. So I did a little more research on the lifter tick about, um, the torque and torque sequence and um, this is only for the 4G64 I don't know about any other car I'm just trying to do this video to help people with this problem doing this solely on research day by day what I find out and I did find out that Let's see here. It was like, uh, it was 24 foot pounds for the torque. But uh, I'm going to show you a sequence here. So I'm going to flip around the camera. Okay, so on the torque sequence, it's going to go here, uh, it's going to go here. Shit. No, it was this one, this one, this one. It just keeps on zigzagging. Fuck. I don't know. Do your own damn research. Find out the torch sequence. I showed you how to un undo them all. How to take out the lifters or lash adjusters. Um, you know, you can either put in brand new ones or not. This whole video is fucked up anyway. It's all... It's all shot to shit. But if you did what I did, and how, how you take it off and put it back on, you're good. Just do your own damn research. But these are the problems. Underneath these rocker arms are the lifters. You unbolt these, take them out. I showed you how to put them in with grease or Vaseline. And yeah. Alright, everything's put back together. Um... After you go ahead and put everything back together, you're supposed to go ahead and run it for about 20 minutes, 20 to 30, just so the oil gets everywhere, because you will hear it tapping after you start it for about 30 minutes, and it'll go away. Let's go ahead and start it up. tapping 
Everything runs perfect. Um, yeah, so that's how you clean your uh, lash adjusters. Only on the 4G6 floor.